Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and I got a CR10. So this is my unboxing, first thoughts, and some problems I had. So hopping right into the video, some of you who may follow me on Instagram at 3D.now might have seen that I've been posting videos about a CR10 that I got. And I wanted to make a video on my experience with this printer, unboxing it, my first thoughts, and some problems that I actually had with this printer. And I'll get to those problems a little bit later in this video. So I bought the CR10 because it's supposed to be a large build volume, very high quality, and low cost 3D printer. So when I unboxed this printer, it was very, very easy to put together. Only a few screws, plug in some wires, and you're pretty much good to go. It is 95% pre-built, which means there technically is not that much room for error because it's already pre-built by the manufacturer. But there were some problems which I'll talk about a little bit later. So the first things I realized when I got this printer out and assembled was that the bed was huge. It is a almost foot by foot glass heated bed, which is awesome for printing exotics and large, large prints. Also, which I thought was awesome, was that the company included lots of accessories into the box. So it came with an extra nozzle, it came with a paint scraper, it came with flush cutters, it came with painter's tape, it came with a spool of filament, and surprisingly it came with a little pin to clean the nozzle out if it got clogged, which is awesome. Thumbs up. But the frame was super stable, it was rock solid, there was absolutely zero movement, and this adds to the great print quality. And I like the Bowden feet system because it takes the weight of the feeder motor off of the X carriage and it puts it somewhere else. I did have a Bowden on my other Prusa i3, so I loved that the extruder heated up super, super fast. But on the other hand, the bed heated a little bit slower because it's such a big, big area to heat up. Coming from a DIY Prusa i3 style 3D printer. I wasn't used to an on off button on the printer, I was just used to unplugging it, but this has an on off switch on the back, which is super useful. In addition, I really like the separate control unit box. It holds the screen, the control board, the power supply, and it keeps everything more organized and easier to assemble as well. So with things that I like at a side, I know you guys want to hear about the problems that I had with the CR10. Now the problems that I had did not keep the printer from printing, but the quality wasn't good and I wanted to find out what's happening. So in the first few prints, the first layers of my prints were always over extruded or it looked like the nozzle was jamming into or, or it was extruding too much filament. And after some examination, I realized that the right side of the X carriage, the rollers were too tight. Now some people say to tighten all the rollers once you hit the printer, but I actually found the opposite. I had to loosen up my rollers on the right side of the X carriage and this allowed both sides to move up and down at the same height, resulted in the first layers and all the rest of the layers looking a lot better in the Z axis. Another problem I had was with printing circles. All of my circles were all wacky and looked like ovals. So I tightened up all of my belts and I found that my Y axis belt was a little bit too loose even though it felt pretty tight and this resulted in superior quality and every single print after that was practically perfect. So after the few problems that I had and I fixed them, this printer is amazing. And as far as I can tell in the first few days of having this printer, it is definitely worth the money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my unboxing experience, first thoughts and problems I had with the Creality CR10 3D printer. Please give a thumbs up on this video if you thought it was helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on Instagram at 3D.now for updates and objects that I'm printing. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll make sure to answer every single one of them, and I'll see you guys in the next video.